Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Dragon Sam. Fantasy, the Black Tome of Ice. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode, we got visions of evil stuff. And things aren't as we assume them to be, and we again have to save the world. Though, to be honest, I don't think we actually saved the world in the first game. We just kind of started the saving of the world. No sign of Imperial activity yet, buddy. Don't worry, with my magnificent eyes, I'll spot anyone trying to sneak up on us. Oh, and if you're looking for the pirates, check the big hut in the middle of the village. Uh, thanks, I will. But I also want to find all sorts of treasures. Hmm. Now this crab, if I were to assume, yes is about it. It's a Gru Crab! Executes a pit servant maneuver. Well, not really because the battle's starting, and I do want to just fight him. He grips Ogin with a mighty claw, and then jumps somewhere else. Completely misses, of course, because we rock. And we're back, and we earned 1,200 XP. Man, these numbers are huge. I don't understand why they're so big. We just started the game, if anything. Ooh, Port Awesome Grog. Okay. Well, let's talk to the people around here. Hey, can you help me out? Oh, it's Marcus. That's, I thought that was an old woman. Whoops. I was looking for shells on the beach south of Port Awesome Grog the other day, and all of a sudden, this fireball thing came out of nowhere. Anyway, I can't gather any shells now, so if you can take care of him, I have a reward for you. Can take care of who? You said it was a fireball thing. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Thank you. I'm sure that thing is still down on the beach. Yeah, I'll go check it out. But first, I'm curious to see. We gotta get some sort of cook here. I'm tired of rock lobster all the time. Yes, I'm curious to see if we have any weapons we can buy around here. Hmm, tasty vittles. Bring on the ham. Hey, wait. Where'd the ham go? Someone took the ham! My ham! Okay, I don't know if that's a reference to something, but I I think it went a little bit over my head. In the last game, they had a whole chapter, which was like a big inside joke towards uh, Minecraft, and being a non-Minecraft uh, player, it kind of went over my head completely. Me and my little buddy here are on the hunt for some chow. Okay, what does the little buddy have to say? Oh, I'm walking all over him. This is where me and the pirate Adam live. Until he gets back from the rec recon, you can stay in here if you wanna. But don't be touching our stuff unless you want me to sick old Bubba here on ya. She's got them attack claws that'll tear ya up real good. Bubba, eh? The parrot, I suppose? Bubba the parrot? Morning, Ogden. You sure have had a rough couple of months, ain't ya? First them thieves in Sandheim stole that there void stone from that prince of yours. Then you two and that old woodsman tried to get down to Tundaria, but them Imperials got ya blocked here. And to top it all off, you've got Serpent Diablo sitting in your ship right now! Man, I wouldn't want to cross with that guy. He's like the anti-captain as foretold in Pirate Legend. Anyway, if you're needing to get some shut-eye, just let me know. Um, it's free, so why not? Good night. Oh, no, uh, let's go. Hmm, Ogden picks up a book entitled Net Strong Enough for a Man, Balanced for Monsters. Uh, Otto's <laughs> that some, someone drew a P and an H before the word balanced, and he has no idea why. Pirates, go figure. Balanced? PH balanced? Oh. <laughs> when monsters get you down, sometimes the best course of action is a sturdy net. Rather than simply dispatching monsters with a pure display of brute strength, the subtle finesse of a net can go a long way in battle. Monsters who have been weakened sufficiently can be caught in nets and will follow their captor into future battles as allies. Of course, due to the Westerian Convention's Conservation Act, multiple monsters of the same species in your party is not allowed. We wouldn't want to deplete our beloved natural fauna, but it is perfectly acceptable to have one of each kind of monster. Gotta catch uh, the end of that last page appears to have been torn off. Uh oh. Auden, a book entitled Crowd Control for Beginning Pirates. Sometimes in the line of pirates' booty duty, you will encounter a foes in swarms. Frequently, seafood type monsters will attack this way. To avoid getting caught up in a clamnado, sometimes you will need to use serious crowd control techniques. Most warriors and martial artists will have spin attacks that can be used to take out many enemies in a small area. 
Use these types of techniques and you'll surely gain the upper hand in mere moments, and that leaves you more time to plunder booty. And isn't that what being a pirate is all about? Uh, I guess so. What does this book have to say? Hello? Hello? Can I talk to this book? Absolutely nothing. What about this? I feel like I should be able to read. Does it look like a safe spot, maybe? Maybe not. Oh, we got a capture net. Sweet. We'll be able to capture a crab or something. Um, over here we've got nothing interesting. Ooh, treasures. I don't know what the deal is with those Imperial ships out there. I mean, we're pirates. We're used to being hunted by the law, but it's been weeks. I think they're searching for something more important than just us pirates. Do you think they're after my personal stash of pirate booty? It's hidden along the trail north of Port Awesome Grog. Any chance I could, sh shall we say, persuade you to go grab it for me? I'll give you a cut of the booty. Ah, of course I will. Thank you, my booty should be on the trail north of Port Awesome Grog. In the sand near the signpost. Okay. Uh, finds a recently used journal. We've been traveling with those Wisser for quite a while now. I didn't trust them at first, but that Anders is a pretty alright guy. You know, for a lamb loving prince, I suppose we can help them chase down that voice zone for a while longer. I guess some thieves trotted off with it down to the southlands of the T Tundarian Republic, and we all know how much pirates love snow. Still, if it falls into the wrong hands, it'll apparently be the end of days, which makes me wonder how much we could sell it for. Eh, fair enough. Potato juice, nice. And herb. We got some potato grog. We found a shiny magazine on the shelf entitled Pir Pirate Quarterly, the premier pirate plundering publication. Ogden flips through the pages and discovers handy tips and tricks for pirates on the go. Page by page, each article illustrates the pirate lifestyle with gorgeous prose and, uh, in ever more intricate detail. Also, there are pretty pictures. I love pictures. Someone bring me a pirate rock monster. They're so cool. You up to the task? I see this on the path south of Port Ozengrog all the time. Yeah, let's do it. Great, go look on the path to the south of Port Austin Grog for it. I will. Ma, 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 da, da, da. Yes, Bryson, I'm your mama, and Pirate Brian is your dada, and someday you'll be the great pirate lord. Hmm. I don't know. After watching Game of Thrones, I don't think that's gonna pan out too well. Oh my! Uh, oh, my boys have just been chasing each other for days. Last week I took them up to the tower north of Port Awesome Grog while their dad, Pirate Kevin, was on watch. Unfortunately, they saw a pretty scary looking shark on the way. Now they've been chasing each other all day long, but as soon as it's bedtime, all that bravado goes out the window. Oh, hey, if I give you one of these nets, you, you can probably capture the monster and show the boys. Capturing monsters is great because after they're tamed, they'll join you in battle. Use their claws for justice. If the boys see that monsters can be tamed, they'd probably be able to sleep again. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Thank you, the shark should be somewhere along the northern path. Okay, so a bunch of side quests. Hot rough Okay, good, thanks, Legend. I, I appreciate that. Oh. More Imperial ships, eh? Relax, you don't get to be the master of unlocking without learning to read a guy's face. There's at least the three ships down there now. Two Imperial scouts and another one something much larger. Well, that doesn't sound good. Who is that? The Woodsman. Lover of logs. A cookie forest dweller from the Wis from Wisteria. Old Woodsy claims to not even remember his own name, but he remembers much, much more than he lets on. Or look, or, or look good. Sweet Master Ogden, you look like you just swam to shore. I did. Look, we're going to have to blast our way out of here before those Imperial ships spot us, if they haven't already. Calm down, I know it's getting a little close for comfort, but until we've got the elevator to the supply cave working, we don't have the ammo for an offensive. I thought Pirate Bill was supposed to have the elevator fixed by now. He's on watch up at the Northern Lookout Tower. He may be a terrible coward, but he's got eyes like a hawk. Just so long as he doesn't get distracted. Anyway, why don't you go take over and take it uh, and tell him to get off his duff and fix that stupid thing? Yeah, I think I'll just 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 do that. 
I'm not really sure how to voice Woodsy, to be honest. I have too many gruffy voices. You know, Ogden, swimming is excellent calisthenic uh, exercise. As us old guys age, it's important to get good exercise. No, I don't like that voice whatsoever. <laughs> it's driving me nuts just voicing him. Watch who's calling old, Woodsy. I'm gonna have to figure out a voice for Woodsy. I don't like it. This is not a hall. We are not a town. I would prefer we just call it the village hut. Hi, Lottie. I be the village priest. Would would you be wanting to save your game? Yes, please. We'll do it on the first one. Oop. Yes, on the first one. And uh, now saving. Do not remo remove the cartridge from the Nintendo. I have recorded your progress. Walk with the master, my child. Oh, there you go, kids. I'm gonna get you, you stinky old monster. Uh, what do you have to say? Jeez, man, my little brother won't stop chasing me. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. Greetings, traveler. A beautiful day for shopping at low, low prices, isn't it? All right, we gotta, oh my God. Capture nets are so expensive. Thank you, come again. Thank you for what? I didn't buy anything. Ooh, nice. Ooh, a pillow. Anand examines the note. This here Tondarian tiger rug is one of my favorite possessions. I managed to acquire it when Pirate Adam mistakenly hit the tiger with, with the boat. Sounds tragic, right? But in Adam's defense, that tiger should not have been in the ocean without proper supervision. Smooches, Friar Bill. Man, that is a huge tiger. What is this? I'm Floyd, Pirate Bill's dog. He's up on watch duty, but said he would bring me some ham. <laughs> Do you have any ham? I sure love ham. And the chest and finds that it's full of discarded ham bones and thinks, wow, that pirate bill sure is a strange man. So that is a note and not, uh, not a pillow as I first thought. Um, hey, Ogden, I just heard from the boys that there's a few clam swarms on the north path. A couple of spin attacks ought to teach those clams who's the number one shucka. Yes, uh, okay. I don't want to go there just yet. I'll just talk to this funny guy. Enjoy Port Awesome Grog, Ogden. Just keep your hands off our ham and all will be fine. Here, there be monsters. You best be ready before you proceed, as those beasties will give no quarter. Okay. Um. I think I've pretty much explored everything, but there should be something uh, to the south here, and I'm looking for a monster. Oh, there you go. A pirate. One-Eyed Rocky is protecting his rich stuff, so let's just give him, uh, 184, um, Yoho, okay, so let's see, will we kill him with two hits? We do, okay, so one hit is what we want to do, uh, so I'll try and see, does he come back? Ah, oh, dang it, did I seriously just kill him? And if I go back, please be back. No, Rocky, Rocky, Pirate, Rock, Monster. Oh, there you go. Oh, am I supposed to recruit this guy or just kill him? I think I'm just supposed to kill him. And he gives us a good whack. Wow, 100 and some. That's pretty powerful. Burns a whole nod. 128. Jeez, okay. Um, Helio should do the trick for now. Ooh, man, that was uh, pretty powerful. I hate these, like, doesn't heal quite enough. Yeah, like, how am I supposed to heal again? Wow, okay. I have to keep doing this because... Uh, does a herb heal more? Let's see. 156. Alright, I'll take one more slice at him. Grills us. Oh, and we got him, okay. We have 2,742 gold. Bounty hunt complete. Return to Port Awesome Grog for your reward. Awesome. And we are going to use some Helios here. Uh, no, I'm going to bring myself to full health. Because I'm just that way. And I'll step out. Because I would like to see that rock monster again. All oh, this flame's not back. And there you go. So we got the rock guy. We'll fight him once. Oop, we missed. That's fine. There we go. And I think a regular capture net would probably do the trick. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously? Uh, deluxe capture net. 
Return to land and port awesome ground for your reward. So now we have one of these. Oh, okay. We'll just fight him. I think uh, just fighting. Ooh, he missed a 46. Okay, not enough. There you go. Um, I had forgotten that you could recruit monsters in this game. Uh, let's see here. He's got a wooden claw, a tan hide. Nothing great, but you know what? I think we're actually gonna lose them, so might as well just take everything off. Um, how do we remove it? Um, unequip. Unequip. Because I could probably sell it. I think. Maybe. You got him? Yahoo! Now I can collect seashells on the seashore in peace! 200 gold. Good job, I'm gonna have the best shell collection ever! Okay, who's the other one that wanted this pirate person? Was it this woman? Thanks for helping to hunt down the monster that scared my boys. You should be able to find that Oh, wait, that's not it. Um, I think it was over here, actually. And, uh, this guy, probably. Oh no, it's this guy. Thanks, Ogden, I'm going to be the coolest kid on the island! So we got... Oh. Seriously? Quest log, beach fire, Landon's request. Okay, main quest. Plunder the pirate opponent. Brian's booty. Okay, well, I guess we're actually not gonna give the. I thought we were gonna give him up, but it uh, seems like that's not the case, so might as well just give him his wooden claw back. And his hide. And I'm totally gonna go rest up um, at the end here. Well, it's not really an end, but you know what I mean. So, if you needed to get some shut eye, just let me. Wait, did that cost me money? Good night. Nope. I wish there was a way for me to grab that, uh. that mace. That, that looks like it's out of place. Doesn't seem to be a way to talk to that guy either. Alright. So, northern path over here, I'm assuming, we'll have. Okay, clams we can take on. Look at that. Just look at it. We're gonna do a spin attack. Ooh, look at that one. And he's just got, does he have any kind of magic abilities? He does not, so I, let's just fight then. And, oh wow, some of them went. Who takes a dirt nap? Okay, and I'm gonna do another spin attack because why not? And you just fight. Boom, boom. 2800, wow, that's actually pretty decent XP. Did we take him by surprise or something? Hmm, okay. Skill, let's do a spin attack. Because why not? I would. I think I want to capture that carrot. Okay, Gru stabs. He takes a small stab. Let's attack the Gru. Uh, I only have a deluxe net left, eh? Use to capture monsters, yes. Um, let's just do this one. There you go, we killed that one, and... One night says to capture Killer Claw, the duck says it's broke. The party earned 1200 XP. So any abilities there, my friend? Polly, Polly, Polly. You got a one claw and a tan hide. I guess that's the default these things have. Oh, and you seem to have some MP, so maybe you have some abilities? Blastios, very good, very good, okay. So I think I'm gonna go rest up first. Oh wait, I have to capture that stupid thing. Oh, that was a really bad idea. Now I have to spend money on a net. How much money do I have, 500? Okay, I can afford one. Um, we're gonna buy, oh dang it, they're super expensive for really bad ones. Let's buy a couple, I guess. Dang, that was really short-sighted, I should have kept that. I am a douche canoe. Yes, we'll rest up, because I'm not sure if Polly was... F I should have checked, but I just wanted my stuff back. Let's go! Okay, so we're back up here. And the clams are not back, so that's always good. Oh, I, I guess technically we didn't defeat this thing, so we'll just fight it. No need to... 29? Oh, actually, that's pretty weak. Oh, wow. Okay, critical. And the party urn... Just a thousand. And uh, oh, a little group of uh, lovely rock monsters. And I don't really feel like capturing them, so we'll just fight them. There we go. 
And they both die with that spin attack, and they give zero gold, so it's gonna take a while to, uh... Oh, <laughs> that's... Oh god, that shark is not an actual person. So, Ogden, you fight him once. Okay, everybody fight him once. Land shark. Oh, okay, we defeated him way too fast. A lot of XP though, and one eye has reached level 19. Strength up. Good. Oh wow, those are good level ups too. And so did Ogden. Sweet! We learned focus. So let's let's find out what focus is. Focus power. Oh, thanks. I guess it's re it restores uh, MP or something. And uh, okay. Um I'm not going to try and capture the crab just now because I only have two capture nets and I kind of want to capture that uh, that shark. I want to capture that shark because I think that's going to get us a reward and hopefully some money. And then I can buy my crappy capture nets that break when I try and use them. Uh, I didn't really get like 35 per gold uh, per battle, so that really sucks. Okay, that's an awkward position. Uh, let's fight. Spin. No, I want to attack these guys. How do I? Seriously? How do I get to them? Okay, this is really. Do oh, they're not in the battle. Okay, I understand now. Um, yeah, there you go. We'll do that. And you guys can try and kill this clam. There you go. Okay, that was really awkward. There we go. And hopefully these things... Ah, I was hoping that they wouldn't have the chance. One, two, dead. Oh, they are in the battle. Maybe battles are like... Oh, man, that actually kind of hurt. But we got one spin attack should do the trick. And uh, you just fight. And uh, how about you? A little bit of a Blastios on everyone. Just for the fun of it. Ooh! There we go. That actually did kill the crab dude. Ooh, and he missed. Way to go, one eye. Come on. Don't let Polly and Ogden do all the work. That's a lot of XP. And Polly reached a level. Agility, hit points, magic points. Good stuff. Um, I don't... I want to explore a little bit. What did I... Ah, oh, we got ambushed. Okay, so... Pirate first, and you guys, you know what? You you just weaken that bird. While uh, Ogden takes care of the pirate thing. 70, I don't really care. And you guys keep weakening the bird. Ooh, okay. We don't want one eye to die here. I think we're safe for one more turn. Yeah, that was close. Too close for comfort. Uh, no, not that. Abilities. Helios, yeah. So, I would have to say that the uh, interface in this game is not super intuitive. And it wasn't great in the first one either, so they basically just kind of copied the first game without really trying to improve on it. Though, I have to admit, developing... Leather armor, nice. De developing um, UI is probably one of the most boring things you can possibly do. So I'm not going to give them too much of a hard time for not revamping this system. Since, you know, it kind of works. It's just not as fun. What does this sign say? Come on. Nothing. Okay. Bounty hunt complete. Return to Port Awesome Grog for your reward. Nice. Thank you. Um... I don't want to see what's up here first, though. So we're going to start with, obviously, a spin attack, because that's probably going to end the battle. And you guys just fight. There you go. 1,200. We've got a treasure here. It's a stone hide. I think it's appropriate to give it to one eye. Stone hide. There you go. It's appropriate because, you know, he's a rock. Ah, uh, not these guys. All right, so a spin attack on the pirate dude. Um, oh, steel, nice. Let's steal. And how about some Blastios? There you go. 
Lassio, spin attack. And the sticks on behind Rocky. One eye couldn't steal anything from the one eyed rock. Are you freaking kidding me? Keep stealing. No. Oh, we got some money, I guess. Hmm. I wonder how quickly they'll, they'll come back. Oh, God, and there's a guy at the top there. Obviously, I'm going to do a spin attack. And yes, I am going to do... Oh. Steel and a Blastio. So it probably won't be... Ah, oh, dang it. Not enough. Go nuts on them. I don't have enough. So let's just do fight then. Fight. Didn't work. Hurt him. Hurt him. Ow. Ow. And couldn't steal anything. Is that ever going to work? Seriously? Guys, I, I kind of need you to steal stuff. You steal again. And how about you just, I don't know, you fight that one and weaken him up. Weaken him up. These guys still don't die. Ow. 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 Okay. Herb. Nice. Okay, one more spin attack should do the trick. But of course, these things moved. So you try and uh, steal from one of the things over there. And you just fight, I guess, because you can't really do anything else. Oh, hopefully they don't kill- No! Oh god, one eye, please don't die! Herb. Okay, what can we do here? I'm going to definitely heal him. Keep fighting and you just- Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna steal. Uh, from this guy, and then you just fight that guy. Obviously didn't do much. Good, we missed. And, yes, we're stealing very good things here. Herbs, well, I mean, they're not that good, and they're cheap, but, uh, hey. At least we're getting stuff done. And if anything, I can try and sell them. Nice, when I level 20, is learn mug. Yes, I'm assuming mug is like steel, only you do damage, but that it actually costs, yeah, it costs two MP. That's fair. Uh, the thing is, I kind of... Uh, are you serious? That's not fair. Okay. So we're going to try and kill Polly first while you try and steal from Araka over there. He's hurt. Couldn't steal anything. I don't know if that means that they have nothing, though. No, 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 no. Keep stealing. We'll try. Eventually, we'll get it. And couldn't steal anything. Well, we always fail, it seems. Maybe we'll just try a different monster next time. Oh, we found a herb, though, so that's kind of good. Time to heal up. Okay, so what's kind of neat about the interface here is that it will heal the weakest... Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it does go on the weakest percentage uh, player as the number one. So it kind of makes it quick... Okay, killer. Okay, so we'll fight. Nope, no, no. Steal, see if these things have anything, and then keep doing what we've been doing. We've been doing pretty good with it. And they didn't have anything. Well, we don't know that. I just. It doesn't say. And dead. We're getting some decent gold, just. Okay, One Eyed Rocky is protecting his rich stuff. Really? Alright, let's try and steal. And... Dang it. I don't know if, I don't know if that means they have nothing, though. This game doesn't make, a, make it very obvious. And, and, and... Ugh, still, alright, we'll just keep fighting. Try and end this a little bit quicker. Polly reached a level. Good stuff, everybody's gaining levels. Because there's that. And, uh, oh, okay, we'll just fight them. I don't think they had anything the last fight either, so. Okay, um, see, I don't want to go up there because I'm worried that it'll be just more fights and we're pretty weak, so I do need to get back to town. So what I'm going to do is hopefully find that shark on the way. No, 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 this is not good. Okay, so, spin attack. 
You just attack. Let's do that. Oh, are you serious? Lame. Alright, just fight. Good. Good. Alright, there you go. Man, this collision detection is really bad, too. Okay, more of the same. Yeah, let's kill the, uh, the parrot first. I don't remember which one does... Oh, man. I don't remember which one... Okay, the rock does more damage. That was a bad decision on my part. No. They really have it out for one eye. They keep trying to kill him. Oh, and he reached a level, so I guess it won't be that bad. Magic point by one. That's not good. All right. Sharky, are you here? Sharky. Nope. Okay. Well, then, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, in the next episode, we'll keep heading north. And uh, actually, first, let's go see what this guy has to uh, say about us giving him his treasure back. Wait, wasn't one of these guys? Oh, no, 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 no. Which guy was it? Somebody wanted us to bring him his treasure. Was it this guy? No, he was the one resting up. Um... Hey. Where is that guy? Here? Oh, there he is. Hey, my booty, thanks. Here, let me give you a cut. 200 gold? I almost died getting this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Let me know if you've played Dragon Fantasy, what you think of Dragon Fantasy uh, 2 so far. And uh, I will see you all uh, next time when we'll continue our quest towards the north to relieve uh, whatever that guy's name is uh, so he can go and finish the elevator. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.